Oh, William Carvalho, the best player in the game. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Definitely gonna unlock this on my main account because of the Portuguese. The Portuguese swagger. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new uh, moments. What is it? What, are, what do they call these things? Team of the season moments? Team of the season moments. William Carvalho to review today. Uh, they juiced this card a lot because I remember using his Halloween card of last year, the Scream card last year, and I used him for such a long time, and the card wasn't that crazy, but he was Portuguese, so I obviously had to use him, you know? But with this card, they actually gave him some really good stats. Uh, I gave him an engine chemistry style for the sake of the review because I want to test out certain things here and there with this card just in case I want to personally use him in a center mid position, but... From what I'm seeing so far, it does look like a card that you mostly use in the CDM position on the Shadow Chemistry side. But we're going to see what the vibes are, right? So, with William Carvalho, he's 6'2", medium, medium work rates, right-footed, 3-star skill and has the 4-star weak foot. So, very, very important that he has the 4-star weak foot. Uh, In-game player traits, he has nothing. Uh, 80 acceleration with, 97, uh, with 87 sprint speed. So, I would personally give him a Shadow from where I'm going to position him. But I just want to see if the engine chemistry style is actually going to help his dribbling. Because listen, guys, the card is a high and average body type, six foot two height, right? So I just want to see if the dribbling is actually nice. Because look, the card has 99 shot power with 84 finishing, 99 for attacking positioning, right? So it could be a very fun center mid to use, right? Regardless of the fact that his acceleration is not crazy high up there. Because, hey, maybe I want to use him for fun in a three midfield setup. Who knows, right? Because Portugal has lined up in the past with like a 4-1-4-1. Could be like a nice little cheeky Danilo Pereira in the future. Danilo Pereira, William Carvalho, Renato Sanchez. Bam, you know? Just some uh, authentic flavor over there. But again, base card stats for shooting. 99 is definitely very nice. Uh, finishing as that an 84 with 99 shot power. Very, very important with 94 composure. Base card stats for passing. Also very nice on the card. Don't have to look into that too much. The engine chemistry style will be boosting it to its 90s. Uh, on a shadow, his passing would still be very nice as well. Uh, when it comes to his base card stats for dribbling, to be fair, they gave him some really good stats for dribbling, you know, considering he's a high and average body type, it's not bad at all. I don't expect him to be responsive in any way. I definitely don't, especially since he's six foot two at that body type, but we'll see. Base card stats for defending is set up really nicely, uh, as it is right now, mostly for a three midfield setup, but obviously we're going to be trying him out in a four, four, two to see what he's like attacking and defensive wise. Uh, and then last but not least for physical, he's a big guy with 96 strength, 83 for aggression and 86 for stamina. Um, if I were to unlock this guy on my main, my main team, I think right now, uh, yeah, he'd probably play next to Ruben Neves, I would say. Probably would play next to Ruben Neves. But you guys know, I always give you guys solid advice when it comes to the cards, regardless of sentimental value FC over here. So, 442 is a formation that we will be using. I will be. Oh, Marcel, I have to take you out. I'm so sad. The sadness that just took over my body was through the roof right there. Because Marcelo is super, super nice. Uh... Oh, no, I don't have to actually do it. Let's go. Nice. I'm happy. Okay. So this guy, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Cover center. We're going to tell you to push forward. Good. So I need to see what you're like coming back. Oh, that hurts me because he's so good on the balance. But listen, cover center, stay back while attacking for Marcelo. And we will try out the team as it is with the 4-4-2. Four, four, cool. Let's go try him out. You got to relax. Okay. Let's see where Yo, your dribbling is like that with an engine? Oh, I just got very happy. What just happened right there? What was that dive? Eh? Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, comment section, what, what just happened? Oh, guys, he's he, he's kind of moving right now, eh? Defensively, there's going to be certain areas of the pitch. He's going to score that. Mbappe is a literal glitch in this game. It's ridiculous. Um, 
There's going to be certain areas of the pitch where you're definitely going to want the pace, because the pace is a hugely relevant thing nowadays. If it was like it was back in the day, oh my god, this car on an engine chemistry style, chase! Bring it back, EA, bring it back. But, um... Yeah, man, the engine's, uh, the engine's making his dribbling feel nice. I need to see what it's like without it, too, because I'm kind of curious. Oh, William Carvalho, the best player in the game! His shooting is actually quite solid. Yeah, that shot power being as high as it is is definitely very nice. It's funny, though, because I have the Get Forward instruction on him, guys, and he's doing it sometimes for sure, but... I'm telling you, man, he just feels like a CDM. As you guys know, I'm not a huge fan of the medium-medium work rates in FIFA uh, for the midfield guys, personally. But um, I can make them work in like a three midfield set. That's why like, I'm, I'm still happy about him, for sure. Hmm. <laughs> Look at how fast he goes back in the defensive positions. I like it. I like it. Defensively, guys, uh, I would want the acceleration and sprint speed. For me personally, definitely, bro. Woo! It's the best player in the game. I'm gonna go backwards here. You gonna make that run? What's up? I'm oh, gonna go back. Okay. Like that centerman position. I'm feeling the vibes. No, bro. William's massive, my guy. He's massive. You know what's funny about this card? Uh, he actually might be good at center back. He might be. The only thing that he'd be lacking a little bit for like the full meta aspect is like a little bit of the acceleration. But his dribbling stats with the pace that he would have on a shadow chemistry style would be very nice. Just letting you guys know. Oh, I wish he could just do that really quick, like, dribble, dribble. Just going back and then going forward right away, you know? Oh, you know what, dude? He's got the reach. I just need that acceleration and sprint speed. <laughs> I thought he was going to grab the ball and just keep going from there. That would have been nuts. Oh, what I would have done if you scored that. Mm. What I would have done. Ooh. William, with your weak putt, relax. Hey, take it easy, my friend. Oh, look at that for a pass. Ball roll, shot across. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna get that still. I think he actually uses a manual goalkeeper across as well. Uh, do be like that. Do be like that. Okay, guys. So I like the way he feels with the engine. I'm really hoping. I'm really hoping that if I give him a shadow, his dribbling still feels decent because I want to make him versatile. Being good at CDM, being good at center mid. Uh, what I said before is exactly how I feel now. Uh, this is the type of card, because of the medium medium work rates, you either use as a CDM next to somebody else, or you're playing in a three midfield setup. Do you... Oh, this card should have like 99 composure, by the way. Is this car... This, guy, this man has the cojones of steel in real life. Let me tell you, this guy used to give me heart attacks with how his composure is literally through the roof, but... Yeah, hopefully the shadow he's nice. I think I'm gonna keep using the 442 for now. Yeah, when he's key, I'm gonna keep using the 442 for now. I just wanna see what it's like with the shadow because of the defensive boost that you get as well. Because the defensive boost for him on shadow, look at them. It's it's a lot of stuff, guys. It's in the 99s with 90 acceleration, 97 freaking sprint speed. Oh yeah, we gotta try that out. Okay, guys, so you do notice a little bit of a difference with the engine chemistry style in the shadow, but I honestly don't mind it at all. Yeah, I, I, I don't mind it. For me to make him as versatile as possible, it's okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, buddy, William is massive. Who are you gonna get, who are you gonna get past? Who? Who, my friend? Who? Oh, that's funny. You did a terrible, terrible challenge there, and you should have got completely screwed for it, but no foul. Oh, that was it. No. Ah, oh, good effort. Good effort. I do like the work rates coming back. Look at the slide tackle. Yes. Oh, look at that through ball to Robin. <laughs> Okay, bro, we get it. You want to be saucy. Okay. Ooh. I overcommitted with the center back there, and uh, William kind of went back into that area. That was cool. I like that. First time pass. Oh, look at the wit. Okay, Ariola, relax. Take it easy. The weight of that pass was great, though, man. First time. Let's go. 99 shot power, baby. Let's go. Okay, guys. Let's try him out as a center back. So we're going to switch Kandog via here. Instructions will be like... No, you're on stay back. You're not on stay back. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's try it out. I'm, I'm curious to see. Um, yeah, so it's like I said. CDM. CDM position next to somebody else is medium high, so I'd probably put him next to Ruben Neves or something. That'd be a cool thing to work with the shadow chemistry style. Um, or I could start him off as a center back if I really need him in the Portuguese team too. But uh, we'll see how he's like defensively. I still think he's actually going to be pretty nice. He has the body type and stuff for it, so. Let's go! I saw a 1 2 play, we'll take it. Ooh, William. Do the thing, William. Nice. I didn't have to actually do a tackle animation there. It was just the uh, holding the shield, which is usually what you want to go for, to be fair. Hm. I'm just going to take him out right there. I tied that pretty badly, I would say. But at least he still goes for it nicely. It was just my fault that I did a bad tackle there. Only ten minutes remaining here. They to take it away. Yeah, his transition speed is really good, guys. I actually like it a lot. I think for the full meta concept, you'll definitely be lacking in that initial acceleration a tiny bit. But yeah, if you want to use him as a center back, guys, he'd actually be really solid there too. The medium medium work rate is perfectly fine to have um, in that position. So. Oh, nice. People were uh, people were bashing the price of this card, guys. But like, listen, man. When I was using him for the review, I was letting you guys know this card is uh, it's fun to use, man. Very, very fun to use. It's a good card. All right, guys. So final verdict on William Carvalho's card. So I tried him out with both the engine chemistry cell as well as the shadow chemistry cell. So I do notice the difference in dribbling when I give him an engine and. It's pretty obvious why. If you take a look at the boost that you actually give the card, it's a plus 10 for the balance, plus 10 for dribbling, and a plus 5 for the agility. So yes, he does he does definitely dribble better um, on the ball when you give him the engine chemistry style. But for the general play, right, for what I'm going for when, I, when it comes to using this card is I want to be able to use him as a versatile type player, right? So if I want to use him as uh, a center back, I want to use him as a CDM or a center mid, depending on how I want to play in-game, I personally would just compensate for whatever the dribbling stats are and would still give him the shadow chemistry style because guys, this card defensively defends way better when he's given the shadow, okay? He needs that pace boost for the extra acceleration, the extra sprint speed. I would say if his acceleration was at a 93, it would be nice, but in my opinion, this is a great card. I think it's a really, really good card. Um, the medium, medium work rates, it works well to make him more versatile. It's not a problem to have in the center back area. If you want to use him there, you could totally do that if you want. You can't expect him to be some sort of like full meta beast because he won't be. Um, I think Ruben Diaz will definitely defend better in a lot of situations. He has some pretty good defensive animations. Uh, Ruben Diaz is not full meta either, but he's still uh, pretty good in the meta of this game. With William Carvalho, 
I do think you can play him as a center back if you guys choose to use him in that position. Um, as a center mid, again, because of the medium medium work rates, it's a player that I would mostly use in a three midfield setup. But if I was using him in a two midfield setup, it would be in the two CDMs, right? The two CDM area. So let's just say, for instance, I was playing a four two three one. I wouldn't mind using him as a person as a CDM on the left side, and then I have someone like Ruben. Neves on the right side with the medium high work rate, right? So just to have that balance between the two and still be able to defend really nicely. So um, for the cards, you know, base characteristics, you know, tier, the terms we use here, uh, I think the card's great, man. Uh, to be honest with you, I think he's pretty cool for what it is because William Carvalho doesn't have great stuff to work off of from a base characteristic. And I think they actually did a really good job with this card for uh, for what it is. Again, it's not some sort of full meta card, but it is a card that can play in the meta. It is, 100%. So uh, I'm content with that personally. But yeah, the, in regards to the feeling on the ball, if you want to give him the engine to make him more responsive, it's great. I just feel like in this game, you kind of need the extra pace. So that's why I'd personally give him the shadow. But um, yeah, really cool to work with, man. I love the 99 shot power too. So if he does get into attacking positions, uh, he could actually potentially score some good opportunities for me. I prefer to have players like uh, Bruno Fernandes, Ronaldo Sanchez as my center mids. They definitely make more sense in those areas because they feel uh, quicker moving forward, coming back, especially with the high, high work rates. But I, I, I'm still cool with this William card for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. But the medium, medium, it's just, that's the only thing that, like, truly throws me off from the midfield cards, for sure. But uh, as a defender and center back, I like him there. He's cool. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this review. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.